Christ loved us and washed us clean of our sins by his blood and made us into a kingdom, priest for his God and Father. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Lord, once again, we come to recognize that Christ loves us and has called us to love one another. And so drawn together by the mystery of this love that God has for us, let us prepare ourselves to receive Christ into our hearts once again, by calling to mind our sins, asking Him for His mercy and His forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priest and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appeared, appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach.
teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After hearing the high priestly prayer of Jesus that he prayed at the Last Supper for the last few days of this week, our gospel today shifts us to what happens after the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus appeared to his disciples as they were fishing on the boat, and as they put, bring in their catch, Jesus prepares for them a breakfast on a charcoal fire. After the breakfast, as we hear in our gospel today, Jesus takes Simon Peter and asks him the three pivotal questions. Simon, son of John, do you love me? It's a question that Jesus continues to ask each and every one of us. God calls each and every one of us by our own names and asks us, do we love him? What is our answer when we hear that question? What is our answer to the question, do we love God? Do we truly love God? Putting that faith that God loves us and that we have been saved by God into action, or do we just go along the tide of our belief, just thinking that God loves us, but not actually believing that God loves us and that we love God? Our gospel is a challenge for us to look inside of our hearts and to ask ourselves, how do we respond to the question that our Lord asks Simon Peter and asks each and every one of us? A true love in which we truly love our God is a love that will prompt us to change our life. It's a love that will prompt us then to put that love into action in every moment of our lives, sharing that commitment of love and of mercy to our families, to our friends, to our loved ones, to everyone and anyone that we meet, constantly putting that faith in our God into action in every single moment of our life. Today, as we reflect upon the question of whether we truly love God, let us answer in the affirmative that we do love our God, that we are putting our faith into action by taking care of the people of God, by taking care of the flock that the Lord has chosen for his own, by continuing to bring love into the world through our words, through our actions, through our lives.
Our Lord has saved us through his love shown on the cross. And so confident in his love for us, we bring to him our prayers this day. We continue to pray for our church throughout the world, especially for Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gomez, for all bishops, priests, deacons, and all lay people around the world. May we continue to be a people that continue to share our love for God by our words and our actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all peoples around the world. May we continue to be inspired by acts of love and share that love with one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace and understanding during these trying times, especially in the face of all the conflict and difficulties that we encounter. May we continue to foster a world of peace and of safety with each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are affected by challenges and difficulties of any kind in their life, whether emotional, physical, spiritual, or mental. May they be lifted up by the love of God that continues to be made manifest in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are sick sick in any kind of disease or illness. May they be lifted up by the healing touch of our loving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us to sleep in the peace of Christ. May they come to share in the gift of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray today especially for the repose of the souls of Virginia and, T and Dave Simachio, for whom we offer this Mass today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And the quiet of our hearts are spoken aloud in our homes. Let us bring to our God our own prayers and petitions today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-loving God, you love us and call us to love you always. Listen to the prayers we bring before you through our love for you as we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the air from work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save, save us, us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will teach you all truth, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.